Hello everybody, Princess Casserole here, and I'm here with a jewelry jar and jarring. Um, I'm actually doing a different one than I promised you guys. I got this one today, and my lady had been out for a little while um, that does these, and she just came back, and this one was $34.99, which I think is a little bit much for the jewelry jars, but um, I had several, sorry, I just wanna make sure this is nice and clear. I had several 20% off coupons, so I thought, why not? I'll grab it. I haven't had one in a little while. You guys will be happy to see that I have painted my nails. However, it's a little bit on my, on my skin. And as one lovely viewer pointed out, Nail polish is for cute, uh, is not for your cuticles, it's for your nails, but uh, I'm not an expert, so I just kind of throw it on there and then wash my hands like twice and then they come off, <laughs> but you know, it's like whatever, I'm not a perfectionist, I don't care, which is to the detriment of others, I suppose, but I got a new thingy. So it'll be nice and clean for a little bit. Oh, wonderful. I, you know, <laughs> I bought two in one week. I don't, I don't even usually see them that much anymore, to tell you the truth. Um, there are other people who buy them. Um, and they just don't do them that often. But I will leave some behind. Ugh, this tape is the worst, like, sorry about the sound, guys. I know that's probably awful, um, but I hate how sticky it is because then everything just sticks to it, and it makes it impossible to get out, so mm. we'll be fine. All right, thought some of the better stuff was at the bottom, but... Oh, this one, is this broken? I can't tell. I think it is, but these are really pretty beads. They're gorgeous beads, so there is a strand broken in here, but I think these are glass and the color is just really pretty. So I'm going to have to do something with these because they are just so pretty. Um, I just, I like them. They are broken. I don't know. I do think like if stuff's broken, they should sell it as craft and not $35. But you know, what are you going to do? This one is broken as well, but that one is a very easy fix. These I think are glass as well. And they're kind of pretty. I like this blue color here. So this one is fixable. Again, glass beads are not cheap. All right, and then we have a little cross pin. I am afraid a lot of stuff in here is going to be broken. This one is totally broken. And I got that one a little while ago before the lady went out, and it was just so good. So it's just it's so unpredictable at this place. I just never know if I should get it or not. And sometimes she does put in stuff that's not broken. This one's definitely broken, too. So that's a huge portion of this is broken, so. Um, but at least some of it I will be able to use. There's just a mass of things in here. I don't really think anything will be too nice in this one don't think. And some of them have a bunch of single earrings in them, I know. Because so you just never, never know. Alright. 
I have gotten some really nice ones from here. And they will put old, older stuff that didn't sell in there as well. I think that's what this guy is. And this one's actually pretty cute. It's got a little bit of wear, but it's not too bad. It's nice. This one's weird. I think I would take off all the ribbons in it. This one must not have sold. It's cute, but um, I don't like the ribbons. So I would take the ribbons off. Hmm. Saw this and I was curious if this one was sterling or not. This one, I feel like it has a tag and it does say 925 in there. Carrie Linden, do you guys know who that is? I don't think it's broken either. So I think this is sterling don't see anything broken and there's really pretty pearls in there. If anyone knows who this designer is, let me know. Because it could also just be that, you know, this clasp is silver. But I saw this in there and I thought this one would be cute. Um, so this was part of the reason why I bought this. And... I used my coupon, so it was a little less. I think this one says 925 as well. So I think I'm going to take this off of there. This I don't think is sterling. I don't know. I mean, it could be. Actually, yeah. This is sterling as well. A little sterling flip-flop. So, I forgot my magnet. Somebody was asking me about that the other day, if I test with magnet, and I will sometimes. I just forget. I had a crazy headache this morning. And, uh, I wasn't feeling that great. This is, this is pretty. I might actually fix this depending on how many stones are missing. There's no signature or anything, but it does have a fold over clasp, so it's older. Yeah, and some of the flip flops are gold. I have seen gold flip flops, believe it or not. I love wearing, well, I don't actually even wear flip flops, I wear like sandals. But somebody was laughing at me today because I was wearing my sandals at the dentist's office with a, a sweater. I think, yeah, this one's broken as well. But this is, this will be really pretty to crap with. One day. <laughs> or you can buy some of my crap lots because I have so many. Oh, goodness. Aha. So I saw this from follow up from this is a totally different store too, so it's kind of funny that I'm seeing this one in here. It's a coin. Bermuda or something. I think this is the front of it though with the pig. So this is a wire wrapped um pendant, and I thought that was cute. It's a little anchor. Inca Brewing. So it is from a brewery. Number one teacher. It's cute. And the Lion King. Is this a magnet? Yeah, it's a magnet. That's cute, right? Oh yeah, I have both of those. <laughs> well, I don't think I have a cold, I hope, but I do have bad allergies. This is new. I like this. I love the Lion King. I am totally going to put that on my fridge. Score. And it's heavy. This is really well made. I wonder if somebody got it at the play. 
I don't know. Or because of the live action movie that just came out. I don't know. Either way, I like it. Interesting. Trader Joe's Rose Bowl Parade. I don't know if any of you guys have... Oh, and the thingy moves. If any of you guys have a Trader Joe's near you. But I absolutely love Trader Joe's. It is my favorite grocery store. Hands down. And these... Hello, right across, across the bridge. I can see you when I go to work. These are little scarabs. They're hard to see because this one's black, but there's a couple of them in here. I don't know what they would have been a part of, but there's several in here. Oh, do you guys think this is... I thought a can opener, but I don't know. Looks like someone made it. Or like a whore, like on a purse. I don't know. I think it's pretty cool, though. It's kind of brutal, brutalist style. Mm. Taiwan. This just says Taiwan. That's what I was thinking, bottle opener. But I don't know. This is a nice belt buckle. It's not sterling or anything. I don't know what to do with a belt buckle. Is there anything to do with a belt buckle? I I don't know. So this one I think was something else that they didn't sell. Some of them they they price so high. So they don't sell them. But this one I thought was cute. I don't think there's anything wrong with this one. It's got a rollover clasp. So this one's actually pretty cute. It's trying to look like an Art Deco Marcasite bracelet, but it's nice. I like it. Let's see, does this one have Chico's? I don't think this one's broken either. It's weird. She must put the broken stuff on the top. Am I still zoomed in? <laughs> I am still pretty zoomed in. Um, I think this one's really pretty. Chico's one. I really like, kind of like this, and it doesn't really have much wear or anything on any of these. So that is very nice, I think. This is different. I, this is like a really nice plastic, actually. I thought maybe there was something on it, but I don't think that there is. That's really cute, right? And some of you guys like these stretchy rings, right? I think that's actually pretty cute. I like it. Hi, Swamp. It's good to see you around for a little... I, I don't think I've seen you for a little bit. This is cute. I, it's not a real gold ring or anything. And it's tiny, but again, I have really fat fingers. There's a Roman one. Does that have a thing? I end up getting a lot of, like, Metten stuff. I don't know if you guys do. Oh, this, I thought this was a necklace for some reason. I don't know why she put this in here. Because it, it's definitely not broken. It's just tarnished. So this is 925, and it's like a tri-colored um, braided sterling <laughs> vermeil bracelet. So I'd seen that one in there, and I thought that was pretty. So... Um, that's nice. And I was hoping that it wasn't broken. It does not look broken, so that's good. I don't know if maybe... I always thought maybe they just threw a couple things in there to make it worth it. I don't know. Oh, this is really pretty. How did this not sell? They must have had this price too high. 
Yeah, let me move some of the stuff so you guys can see how it lays. I don't see a tag or anything, but look at how pretty this is. And it's heavy. I think these are glass beads. And there's really no wear or anything on it. This is really nice. It's a piece of costume jewelry. I really, really like this. You know, like with a deep V, this would look so nice. I love that. It is nice for fall too, you're totally right. This one was $5. And it is pretty. But it's just like a, a shell necklace, so people are always looking for deals. A lot of people don't don't want to pay that much. So this is pretty though. I do like this. And this color is very springy and summery. But it is very, very nice. And I don't see anything wrong with it. So I do like that. This one's really worn and it did have a price tag on it. So she tried to price this one. And it's not sterling or anything. I don't know. I wouldn't even I wouldn't even sell this. I probably wouldn't even put it on in like the lots that I do. The bulk ones. Oh, this is pretty. That it almost looks like a Lindy Star. Lip Martha. I don't see Oh yeah, Anson. Anson. This one is really pretty. It was really nicely made. And then there was a one with a big old chunk of a tiger's eye on it. Oh, I almost bought this. That's so funny. I almost bought this one. But it was just, like, not in great shape. And I think they wanted, like, $6 for it or something. But this is Morpho. So it's butterfly wings. And it is a souvenir from Gettysburg. So this is super cool. I love any of the butterfly wing stuff. I think it's really beautiful, the way that the color changes. That's funny. This is just a broken chain. It is not silver or anything. Some of it is. Depends on what it is. Some is and some is not. So this one's broken, oddly enough, here. They're kind of nice other than that one. Bangles. I have so many bangles, so... It's one of the nice charms, the religious charms. I don't know. This one's different. I don't know. Looks like Mother of Pearl. It's different though, right? And this one is a bookmarker. Like a 80s clothes and a bookmarker which is really cute I should probably I never use bookmarks I'm so lazy I always just <laughs> use paper but that one's fancy I actually have another fancy one too hmm all right let's see I'm gonna bring you guys in and you can tell me if you can Harris. Oh, yeah. I've been seeing those everywhere lately, and I think those are not... Um, I think they use real stones, but they don't use, like, fancy or precious metals. Fancy metal. Um, Karis. At least that's what I'm thinking that says. It's still very pretty. 
Um, I almost bought stuff at an estate sale because I thought it was real sterling or gold, but it was not. What is this guy? Claire's. This one's actually kind of cute, though. And then a little mother of pearl angel pin. That's cute. Oh, what's this guy? Moses McIntosh, National Commander. On our duty. Interesting. Oh, and also, oh, there's multiples. I wonder why there are two. There are multiple horses. Horse tags. Those are kind of fun, right? Kind of like those. Ooh, what's this? This is pretty. I am just wanted to see. Oh, yeah. Here, let me show you guys. This is really pretty. This moves. And look at how gorgeous this is. Oh my goodness, I love this. I love that. And it shuts too, which is nice. I like the backing of it. Still got the stuff. This is gorgeous. This, I did not see this um, when it was debating. Again, I needed to use, I have like so many 20% off coupons here and they expire. So I'm like, I need to use my 20%. I am not going to just let them expire. Oh, it's this guy. Look at how neat. Looks like pyrite. Hello, April. Ooh, no. Put that in the comments, if you will, because I would love to look that up. I was just um, watching a video about the dangers of the 50s homes <laughs> and drilling over the fashion and decorations of the 50s homes. This is really cool. I like that a lot. Um, April had a fun video with the uh, craft stuff that... I think she must have bought from Dwayne and Heather. This is so cute. It's a little worn. It's still so cute, though. I love these. Like I said, being, um, having a fall baby and, uh, oh, body jewelry. Body jewelry. I have heard some of these are gold. This does not look gold, but I guess I'm not just going to throw them away without taking a closer look. You guys have convinced me. There is a weird staple in this. There's a little star in here. And it is a kind of pin. I kind of like this. Oh, there are no stones missing. I thought there were. But there are not. I kind of like this. I love crowns. No, it's unfortunate. It depends on when I go. Oh, the Diocese of Buffalo. What's it say? Infant Jesus, protect us. I love this stuff at the bottom. My The bottoms are my favorite. That sounds weird, but you guys knew what I meant. Ooh, Montreal. I actually was just talking about I would love to go visit Montreal one day. I've heard it is beautiful. And I mean, it's not that that far. This one's pretty. Oh, what's this guy? Ooh, Sterling, Mexico. 
GM13, and they are little cowboy boots. He just needs a little bail to go around your neck. How cute is that? I love these. <gasps> I love those. Here's another one of those anchors from, ooh. Oop. This is from the M MMA, right? Museum of Modern Art. And it is, I feel like this must have been a necklace that broke. Yeah, this is super cool. I think it's it had to have been with these scarabs, you know, somehow. Because there are other ones in there too, and it is just so nice. Another one of my favorite places. I bought one of these for um, Dwayne, and I think he liked it. I love Penzi Spices. I would recommend you guys check them out. They have a, such good spices. All right, Pokemon. Pokemon. I do know people who still try to get Pokemon. Don't even know how this one goes. <laughs> is that bad? Like I don't know which side is right up. Oh, is it like that? Is are those his eyes? I don't know. A bowling angel. Can you get a six <laughs> hundred? I didn't think that that was. I didn't think you could. Can, isn't that a 500? Am I crazy, guys? Tell me. <laughs> I feel like I'm losing it. Oh, there's a college. Gotta always look for these things. Um, look at these things, because sometimes they are gold. 235. I've seen these a lot of times. Never seen one that said 600. Is it, like, only possible in heaven to get 600? Isn't this so cool? I need to put together another... Um, you guys know what I mean. Another uh, charm bracelet. I think this one says something. Right? Does it 14 carat? Excuse my, you can see all the terrible job I did doing my nails. So it's this. I think it does say 14 carat. Didn't um, Treasure Hunter get one similar to this? That would be awesome. And when I scrap my gold, I usually end up getting my gems back. This one's 200. I know, it's beautiful. Is it 200? I am so bad <laughs> at bowling. Obviously, you guys can tell because I don't even know what the scores are that are possible. This one looks just like a... <laughs> my nail person is me. And it's bad. <laughs> but hey, how many times do you, do you look at someone's nails that close up? This looks sterling, doesn't it? That's pretty. I'm pretty sure. I didn't see a G in the 10 carat one. I can't see. I think it just needs to get clean, but this definitely looks like sterling to me. And I, I don't love hearts. My aunt does. But I think this one's kind of cool. I like this one. I like the design of it. See, this is why I'm saying I think something broke with this, um, this guy. But I still think it's really cool. And I'm sure I can Google it to find out what it looked like before. Well, this is fun. <laughs> and this is the ohm symbol. That's neat. 
Definitely different in this one. This one oh, so many bowling. I think bowling is kind of big here in my area as well, though. My daughter used to bowl. This is pretty. I'm Zelda. <clears throat> she gave it up because she's lazy. <laughs> Thank you, April. You know, sometimes I'm just like, I'm not going to get it. And then I'm like, oh, I'm going to get it. <laughs> That's cool. I think, I don't, I don't know. That's a money clip, obviously. That much I know. St. Michael. I don't know the saints. I didn't grow up Catholic. Um, so I just think it's interesting. How do you get this in with the same? <laughs> like this is the most mixed jar. Um, and a beautiful piece stuff. I saw this one too, and I loved this one. I love Mother of Pearl. I know it's not worth that much. I think people are speculating that one day it will possibly be because there's not as much around. But I think this one is so pretty. And the piece stuff, it's it's such a good message. I thought these were was a mouth. Interesting house pin. It looks like a mouth, doesn't it? Like, why can you see inside of that? I don't know. And another, <laughs> see, like, come on, guys. Would you wear this on your shirt? Like, the people who wear this, um... Our elementary school teachers which is totally understandable but there are some pin the uh, button covers that i'm like why in the world would you ever wear that living stones i don't know what that is somebody probably does and they can tell me well this one's kind of cute i think this is actually an earring a little angel there's always an angel oh and there is some extra thingies which is good because maybe I'll take the Pokemon to work this is pretty is that a rose yes <laughs> that's a rose this is pretty and another dove be nice it's been a hard day <laughs> I love this Oh my goodness, I'm gonna wear this to work. I'm totally gonna wear this. I like it. <laughs> Do you think anyone would think I was crazy? I think they'll laugh. That and the Pokemon are coming to work with me. Oh, disabled American veterans. That's a beautiful pin actually, very well made. I <laughs> I have a feeling it might have the opposite reaction, but, you know, gotta try. This is actually really pretty. I think it's missing the one in the center, but I might fix that and put one in the center because I actually think it's quite pretty. <laughs> yeah, spell it right wrong. <laughs> Jimmy. Isn't that pretty? I kind of like this. I like the black, um, like, Japan finish, and it's heavy. I think I'm definitely gonna fix that guy. Oh, and also, <laughs> Daffy Duck. What does he say on him? 92? 1992 Warner Brothers. Just in time for the new Space Jam movie. Space Jam. I can't wait. I wonder if Warner Brothers stuff would be popular if that comes out and is successful again. What do you guys think? <laughs> I feel like Dabby wouldn't actually work. Do you guys think he would? I feel like he'd be kind of lazy. Oh, this is... Do you think this is supposed to go on here? I don't know. I feel like no. Um, 
the W earring, and it's just got a thingy, so you can put anything in there. I always love these small bits. Look at this cute little, little angel. What does this say? Handcrafted? Nail Ooh. What does this say? <laughs> Authentic native handicraft from Alaska. That is awesome because she's got like a little thing on her. Care cultural gift shop. Oh, that's so cute. We used to make things with seed beads as well. Um, I learned how to make rings and stuff like that with these little seed beads. I love that. Oh, see, teachers. I bet Thelma wouldn't wear that. I don't know. Oh, see, and here's more. This one's so so pretty. I gotta look up that necklace because I gotta think that there's a necklace. Holy Angels Academy, 2010. Huh. It says something inside. It is really hard to read though. I'm assuming it probably is like gold filled. I guess see. Yeah, one twentieth, whatever. So Holy Angels Academy, and it's got somebody's initials. So that is a beautiful monogram. Did a good job with that. Oh, I don't know why I put that one over there. That should go over here. Oh, and here's a black one, another black one. So these two are the same size. They're beautiful, like, look, gold gold plated. Oh, here's the other J or W one. Yeah, there's so many pins in this jar. Sometimes I like the pins. This one's pretty. You think I, they might be. I think that's cool. There's no, nothing on there, but there's nothing missing or anything. This is really pretty. Like that. <laughs> I knew what you meant. <laughs> I can read minds almost. This one's kind of cute. Oh, and there's another one. 2004. This is not the same. Huh. I wonder if she got married. Yeah, I, they would make something nice. They they need to, to have something happen to them. Interesting. I think this must be a watch face. That's cute. I have to make a charm bracelet. That's a nice, um, heavy. I think this is an American, American Girl doll pin. Right? Or else it's just some random girl. <laughs> I think it's American Girl doll. I know somebody will know. Ooh, this is cute, but what is this? It's Gettysburg. Oh, Gettysburg. And what is this? You guys know what that is? What? What is this? Oh, the tab is nickel silver, but the charm is sterling silver? Molly asked. Okay. I thought so. Yeah, it's fine. I don't listen to what people, what people say. I just listen to the context. My husband's always saying the opposite of what he means, so... I just usually actually know what people people mean. There's another one. I like that. It's cute. And then there was this. What is the word for this one? Do you guys know? I don't know if I know. It's... Here, let me bring it just there. 
So it is green and pink. And I have another necklace that is green and pink like this. And I thought maybe rhodochrosite, but I don't think that has green in it. Right? If anyone knows what that is, please, please let me know. This is really pretty. I think this is pewter. I actually really like this. The Pirates Rule. Pirates of the Caribbean. Yeah, it's well made, too. Oh, here's another one. Who's this one? I'm assuming this is also an American Girl doll, so I got two. I got two American Girl dolls. Well, pins. Are those still popular at all? Ooh, this is the other one I saw. So this one, the tab must be nickel silver and then the actual charm itself. This is Maine and this is a birdie. So this thing I think is sterling. Maybe. The other one was marked somewhere. Oh, I'd have to look for it because I thought it was, but those are cute. I love the little charm bracelets. This one's cute too. Speedo Junior Nationals? Hmm. I'm glad your teen can help. <laughs> Mine's actually at work right now. It's another one with 500. Is 500 possible in bowling, guys? I don't, I don't know why I thought it wasn't. It probably is, and I'm probably crazy. Some of these are so nicely made. So one's the Tournament of Roses. So I think, aren't those um, college college football games? I think. I think they are. And this one is just another rock glued onto um, a tie. Oh, and I saw this one too. I really like this one. This one's older. It's got some like wear issues there. But let me see. But it's really pretty. Elizabeth. And these are gonna be glass, but they're older. And they're really pretty. So I like this one a lot. Oh, and it's an angel. Oh. What is this? Oh, this has got to be a Bible thing. A Bible, a Bible, uh, <laughs> what am I thinking of? A Bible page holder, book, book holder. You know what I mean. This one's really pretty, right? Like, it would be for a pretty big Bible, I think. But you must put the picture's name in here. <laughs> a picture in here. And then this is the cross. It is so pretty. <laughs> I can't remember the word for bookmark, so you're not the only one. All right, so... There's two of these ones, too, that are the same size. And there's another black one. Oh, here's the other. So there are two of those, three of these, and one big blue one. And then one of this guy. Oh, and there's another big blue one. Oh, nope, it's a big black one. Those are... Oh, and there's more. Black. 
another black one. They're really well made, guys. So, I, I think they, I don't know. They gotta be for something. I don't know if, you wouldn't think that was all broken off of an earring or like a necklace. I don't know. I don't know. This one is broken, but it is cute. That'll be nice for crafting. More bowling. This one is Bo Sterling. Which I don't think really goes for a lot. Let's see it here. Bo Ster. It's just a round circle pin. This has got to be a Pokemon. This is a Pokemon. Yeah. This is definitely a Pokemon. I don't know what any of their names are. So I got two Pokemons. 1981. Lucky charm. See ya, Jill. Thanks for your help. That's pretty. I like that. All right, live, laugh, love. Oops. <laughs> live, laugh, love. And then I know there's a pair of these. I think it says something. But goodness gracious, I can't, can't read it. This one's missing one. Then maybe it's gold over silver or something. I don't know. I'll have to get out my loop and look at these ones to see what that says. I thought maybe these were a match, but they don't seem to be. There's two of these Italian charms. In here too, a birthday and a pea. I don't know if those sell anymore. And then this guy. This one's cool. I think it's scrap sterling probably. Possibly, I try to get the marcasites out of here sometimes, but it is really difficult, uh, guys, to harvest marcasites out of those things because they're almost always glued in to there pretty well. Oh, look how cute this one is. Little charm. That's cute. Little vintage plastic. Uh, it's a tuba. Uh, I don't know. There's not a lot of those. This is Adventure Time, I think. I think it's adventure time. I have a friend who likes that, so that will be going to him. Oh, this is cute. Little brooch. I'm going to my brooch pile. These big ones are really nice. Okay, that... Why? Oh, yeah, they can be. I'll try to do some recorded as well. I have some that I just have to edit. So this is Sterling. And you, you also, if you go in live and you don't like the live, you can always turn off the chat as well. So I have to do that sometimes too, because it can be really small. This one's Sterling, Massachusetts with a um, pilgrim on it. And what does this guy say? Lehigh series. Another pin. Oh, here's a flag. I 
and an orange. I think that's orange. I don't know. Houghton Academy. Oh, then there was this one too. Checking to see if there was anything on there. I didn't see anything, I don't think. Yeah, I don't think there, I don't think this is anything. And another chair. Of, oh, look at this. This is super like 70s. It's that enam enameling on copper. And it says Sandy. I really like that. It's really pretty. And these are cute. They're a little faded though. So yeah, that's pretty much it. I love all these. These are so nice. And then this guy. So I'm going to look up what that looked like. This. And my little booties. And that. This one is really nice. And this guy. Is very pretty. And a couple of sterling things. I love this one. This one's probably one of my favorite. This is nice. I think this is, this might be 10 carat. I will scrap it if it is. And I like those ones. And then we got it some really nice necklaces too. So I didn't actually have that high hopes for this one, but um, <laughs> hers are just like really hidden. Like, I don't know. Every time I look at them, I think, oh, you know, I don't know. And then I end up getting surprised. So I am very happy with, I think it was pretty much $30 with the tax and after my coupon that I paid for this. So I am definitely pleased. And I hope to see you guys in my next video. Now this one was totally white and see how, how easily this job gets dirty. Um, but I will see you guys in my next video. Hope you have a nice day. Bye guys.